On today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Capcom vs. Tessuga characters book. Let's do this. <music> I was originally gonna say it's an art book, but really it's more of a reference guide and, and information and all that fun stuff. Hopefully this book does get translated. I just saw an opportunity and went with it from a Japanese store on eBay that was selling it um, not as cheap as I would have liked, but once in a while I look at stuff like this and I go, yeah, I need it, <laughs> forget it. Let, let's just splurge on this one thing. If there is an item in 2021 that I splurged on that I didn't really need, but man, do I love that I own it right now, is this bad boy right here, Capcom versus Tezuka characters. Now this is an art exhibit that started uh, around this time last year, October 2020, and it lasted up to February of 2021. Now there is a dash event, sort of a continuation that started uh, right now as of this, uh, the recording of this video, which will feature new art. So I'm really excited about that. Hopefully uh, we get a second book out of it. This is really cool guys, I love it. I'm a huge Capcom fan. That's one of my favorite video game companies. And of course I love most of Osamu Tezuka's creations. And to have this creative mishmash is really awesome. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of Bengals, and to see the play on the Marvel vs. Capcom poster is really awesome. So here is a closer look at that wonderful uh, poster image right there that was used on all the promotional uh, pamphlets and illustrations and the actual uh, main poster, I guess, for the event. Here's the spine of the book right here, Capcom versus Tezuka characters. And in the back, we get a really cool illustration, of course, of Tezuka's Hyotan Tsugi, if I'm saying that correctly. Really cool stuff. And sort of a breakdown of what you can expect. Three rounds or three main uh, chapters in this book. An introduction, the uh, fights, if you will, like if it were a fighting game and some extra items right there. Let's actually take this dust jacket off. Not as exciting, but still cool. So you can see it's a faded image. We're gonna set that aside for now. Obviously you're gonna say, man, I mean, this is cool, but it's all in Japanese. And what happens if you can't read Japanese? Fortunately, there's enough illustrations here to compensate that fact. And um, there are applications that you can take a picture of all the uh, writing and it will translate most of it. Uh, it's not that great, but it's simple enough that uh, the text here is simple enough that everybody can, can read and, and enjoy, uh, you know, what, what they are discussing about. As you can see here, the big C and the big T, blue bomber right there. And I do like that they went 8-bit uh, style for Astro Boy. That is really cool. You can read most of it, like page 6, Capcom history, followed by Tezuka Productions history. You get creator profiles uh, from both sides. And then the title matches, which is going to be the comparison between the characters from Capcom and uh, Tezuka characters. Yeah, zoom in a little bit. Sorry about the lighting. Working... Uh, a little handheld here with my phone and it's not the most ideal setup but hopefully you guys appreciate the art in these pages now when we open up we got the capcom history and it goes year by year from the original rockman final fight street fighter biohazard or resident evil uh, and it goes on and on like this devil may cry ace attorney here we have the tezuka productions history from 19, oh, and I did not mention it just in case, this book covers from 1979 for Capcom all the way to uh, this year, 2021. For Tezuka, we get the same treatment here, 1928, with, there is Tezuka himself and his different creations all the way up to 2019 with all the stuff that the Tezuka staff is working on. 
So here's round two. This is where we begin with the title matches. Now this is what you're here for. Here we have the first match, Rockman versus Mighty Adam himself. Here we have the Blue Bomber himself, Mega Man drawn Tezuka style, and Astro Boy in Capcom style. Yes, please. Can we license this? Can we make a video game in this style, please? <laughs> I know we've had Astro games in, uh, in the past, but can we get a new one just like this? Pretty please. So we get some info on them. Again, you can probably scan and uh, read more about it. Here we have a brief history of Mega Man with the covers of the first uh, 11 main games, as well as the villains and behind the scenes of the creation of the game and the sprites and characters. Here we have some artwork on the characters, character models, uh, art exhibits, photos from the actual art exhibit, sorry. Uh, the video game, the actual video game uh, boxes and cartridges. And over here we get the same thing, but for Astro Boy. So you see here uh, some really cool art and manga panels, which is great because I'm a big fan of anime and manga. So to have this is really awesome as well. Comic and of course the animation process from the original Astro Boy anime. And then we cross over to the second fight. Here is Monster Hunter versus Phoenix. You can see here sort of the history of the franchise. And of course, the uh, magnum opus, if you will, from Tezuka, which is Phoenix. Really wish this were available and not uh, super out of print, uh, the manga. So here's some uh, illustrations. Third fight, here we have Biohazard or Resident Evil up against, I believe this is Vampire and the character specifically is Rock, which if you are a big fan of Tezuka, and you know, this hero, this both hero and anti-hero, he's part of the uh, Tezuka star system and he crosses over with multiple Tezuka manga. But this is really cool to see him in this in this style. And of course, uh, having Resident Evil characters, you know, such a grim series to have it uh, drawn in this cartoony manner is actually pretty amusing. Uh, here we have, like uh, like what I've been highlighting, the history of Resident Evil, the games, and the video game development. There we go, right there. Leon Kennedy, the liquor, all these uh, famous characters from that franchise. Here we have Rock and the vampire manga. Next fight is probably my favorite because I am a huge fan of Chun-Li from Street Fighter, one of my all-time favorite video game characters. And to see her drawn like this is super cute and awesome. Here she is next to a Capcom rendering of Princess Knight. Here we have the Street Fighter characters. And Princess Knight illustrations. Another emblematic, iconic Tezuka creation, in my honest opinion. Ace Attorney. Tezuka style, and Blackjack, Capcom style. Here we have the Ace Attorney games, and of course, the characters, some really awesome Blackjack illustrations. After uh, Astro Boy, I really enjoy Blackjack. He's one of my favorite classic manga characters. Here we have Sengoku Basara versus Dororo. Here we have art from the game and some Dororo illustrations. If I were to do a top three Tezuka creations, I think it would be Astro Boy, Dororo, Blackjack. But there's so many to choose from. Those are my immediate top three, which I think a lot of people uh, share as well. Here we have the Tezuka Manga Museum, which I hope to one day visit in person, if it's still available, obviously. Uh, here we have round three, Extra Time. So what is Extra Time? You get a little uh, manga of Blackjack versus Ace Attorney. So hopefully I can read this translated at some point. And we also have a goods collection Basically, if you were at the art exhibit, you could buy 
all the memorabilia. Although personally, I would go, I would get, um, if the camera can focus, I would totally get this as a poster and frame it on the wall. That is awesome. Here we have a Capcom gallery overall, all their video games, all the uh, classic games right there, and a Tezuka gallery. Would have been nice to have a versus uh, Kimba section. That would have been cool. So what about you guys? Um, what other bouts or versus uh, profiles would you have liked to have seen in this exhibit? I'm pretty sure they're gonna do new ones with the Dash uh, modified exhibit this year. Here are more uh, goods collections as well as an interview with Yusuke Nakamura. And here at the end, here we have an interview with the staff and artists. Like uh, a couple of questions and answers. Here's another look at the uh, main illustration. Obviously Marvel versus Capcom inspired, which is great. Here's an awesome piece of uh, Mega Man. And I believe these were made to be keychains. And uh, this is the actual illustrations that they used for the keychains of the pairs. Looking really cute. Hmm. Look at that. Come on, phone. Work with me here. There we go. Yeah. So that's about it. That's all we got, right? And at the end, the two of them together like that. So that's about it, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, this is a complete overview, I guess. I didn't leave anything to the imagination. I gave you a hands-on with this book. If you're a huge fan of Tezuka characters, and if you're a big fan of Capcom games and their characters as well, I think you gotta pick this up, right? This is a must-have in your uh, art book section of your library. Uh, it's a reference book because it has a lot of text, but I do consider it somewhat of an art book, honestly. And I love that I was able to get this. Typically wouldn't be something that I would get my hands on because everybody snatches these things up pretty quickly. But nonetheless, you know, splurged a little and treated myself to this gem of a book. I'm a huge fan of both sides. And I hope in the future we get more collaborations from this, from different studios, and uh, whether it be a different manga creator or a different uh, video game company, whatever it may be. I love when you take this creative uh, freedom and mishmash properties that you love and create something new, exciting, and unexpected uh, for fans of both uh, mediums. Thank you everybody so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, being a part of A Week in Geekdom. It truly does mean a lot. Thank you for being a part of the family. God bless. Stay safe out there. I've got to go. I will catch all of you on our next video.